Tinkerbell Bedtime Story, Bedtime Story for Kid. Today we have a book named Tinkerbell Bedtime Story, Bedtime Story for Kid. I think they're so pretty. I hope you guys really enjoy it. I love it. Please give this video a like if you enjoy it, and don't forget to subscribe for more stories. Thank you, reading. So, here we go. This is the Tinkerbell Bedtime Story. Once upon a time, in a magical land far, far away, there lived a tiny and delightful fairy named Tinkerbell. Every night, when the stars twinkled brightly in the sky, Tinkerbell would visit children around the world to bring them special Tinkerbell bedtime stories. Tinkerbell had the most beautiful wings that shimmered like rainbows, and when she laughed, it sounded like tiny bells ringing in the air. She was mischievous and fun-loving, and her magical adventures always brought smiles to everyone's faces. One night, Tinkerbell noticed a little girl named Lily who couldn't fall asleep. Lily had a worried look on her face, and her eyes were tired from thinking too much. Touched by Lily's restlessness, Tinkerbell flew to her window and gently sprinkled some fairy dust on her pillow, making the room glow with a soft golden light. Lily's eyes widened in surprise as she saw the magical glow. She sat up in bed and Tinkerbell flew closer, whispering, Hello, dear Lily. I'm Tinkerbell, and I have a special bedtime story just for you. Lily's face lit up with excitement as she snuggled under her cozy blanket, eager to hear the tale that Tinkerbell had brought. Tinkerbell perched on the edge of the bed, her wings sparkling in the moonlight, and began her story. Once upon a time, in a land called Neverland, there was a fairy named Tinkerbell. She had the most magical powers and brought joy and happiness wherever she went. With her tinkling laughter and her heart full of kindness, all the animals in the forest loved her. Tinkerbell described the wondrous sights of Neverland, the sparkling lakes where fairies danced, the tall trees where adventurous games were played, and the beautiful flowers that bloomed in every color imaginable. She talked about fairies who had wings made of glistening petals, friendly mermaids who swam in the crystal-clear waters, and brave pirates who went on exciting treasure hunt. As Tinkerbell told her story, Lily's worry slowly faded away. She was captivated by the tales of friendship, courage, and the magic that filled the air of Neverland. Tinkerbell's sweet voice and her warm presence made Lily feel safe and peaceful. With each word, Tinkerbell's story transported Lily's imagination to faraway lands, where dreams came alive and anything was possible. As the story came to an end, Tinkerbell whispered, Now, close your eyes, dear Lily, and let your dreams take flight. May your sleep be filled with the magic and wonder of Neverland. Lily snuggled deeper into her soft pillow, a smile spreading across her face. As she drifted off to sleep, Tinkerbell gently kissed her forehead, leaving behind a sprinkle of fairy dust that shimmered like starlight. Tinkerbell said goodnight to Lily, knowing that her gift of a bedtime story had brought comfort and joy to the little girl's heart. With a twinkle of her wings, Tinkerbell flew back into the night, ready to visit more children in need of a little bedtime magic. And so, my dear little ones, as you lie in your cozy beds, remember that Tinkerbell is always nearby, ready to whisk you away to lands filled with adventure and imagination. Close your eyes, listen closely, and let her stories fill your dreams with enchantment and delight. Good night, my precious children. And may Tinkerbell's bedtime stories fill your dreams with joy and wonder. The End Good job, friends. Thank you so much for reading with me. Bye, I'll see you next time.